Hello everyone, welcome to the Mathematics in my channel. In this video, we are going to solve this uh, nice integral, integral from 0 to 1, x minus 1 over x plus 1, natural log of x dx. So now I am going to use the uh, Feynman technique of integration. Therefore, I am going to define an integral i of a is equal to integral from 0 to 1, x to the a minus 1 over x plus 1 times natural log of x dx okay then uh, we are going to uh, differentiate with respect to a so we have i dash of a is equal to integral from 0 to 1 now if we differentiate the x to the a with respect to a we have we know x to the a times natural log of x over x plus 1 times natural log of x uh, dx then uh, we know natural log of x get cancelled so we have integral from 0 to 1 x to the a over x plus 1 dx yesterday we solved the integral so let's call it integral from 0 to 1 integral from 0 to 1 x to the m over 1 plus x to the n dx is equal to we proved 1 over 2 times n dicamma of m plus n plus 1 over 2 times n minus dicamma of m plus 1 over 2 times n okay uh, now uh, so comparing with our integral here we have a so we know m is equal a and uh, here we have x here n so we know n is equal 1 therefore our integral is equal to uh, here 1 over 2 times n so 1 over 2 because n is equal 1 and uh, here uh, we know digamma of we have a plus 2 over 2 minus digamma of a plus 1 over 2 okay then uh, this is we know i dash of a then i'm going to uh, integrate uh, with respect to a so here we have i of a is equal to now integration of uh, digamma function so we know the derivative of natural log of gamma of x uh, is equal to digamma of x so if we integrate digamma function we will have natural log uh, gamma function therefore here uh, 1 over 2 uh, times uh, when integrating uh, we know uh, we should uh, divide by the coefficient of the variable so we should divide uh, by one half so it's mean multiply by two and here we have natural log of gamma of a plus two over two minus natural log of gamma of a plus one over two plus uh, constant well uh, now we know these two get cancelled so let's plug in uh, 0 for a so here when a is equal 0 we have uh, i of 0 is equal to here natural log of gamma of uh, 1 minus natural log of gamma of 1 half plus c then we know uh, natural log gamma of 1 uh, 0 so we have c is equal to c is equal to uh, because here i of 0 if we plug in 0 uh, here uh, we know uh, i of 0 also uh, 0 so c is equal to natural log of gamma of 1 half and gamma of 1 half we know square root of pi so we have natural log of square root of pi okay uh, then uh, when a is equal to 1 when a is equal to 1 uh, our integral uh, i of a here we have so i of 1 we know 0 to 1 integral from 0 to 1 x minus 1 over x plus 1 times natural log of x dx and uh, we know uh, this is equal to uh, here uh, i of 1 so here we have i of a so i of 1 is equal to natural log of gamma of here a plus 2 over 2 so 1 plus 2 over 2 minus natural log of gamma of 1 plus 1 over 2 plus uh, c 
okay then uh, let us simplify natural log of uh, gamma of here 3 over 2 and here natural log of uh, gamma of 1 uh, we know 0 then uh, plus c we have here natural log of square root of pi okay here we have natural log of gamma of 3 over 2 we know gamma of uh, 3 over 2 is equal to gamma of 1 plus 1 half and this is equal to 1 half gamma of 1 half gamma of 1 half is square root of pi so we have square root of pi over 2 therefore here we have natural log of square root of pi over 2 plus natural log of square root of pi so if we simplify we have natural log of pi over 2 okay this is the answer for this nice integral if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching